10 o'clock Monday night when the town of Jasper and all the tourists were settling in for the night. They were told to pack up and leave immediately. An evacuation order for the entire town and for Jasper National Park. Hey MNTV family, it's me Jacob and we're here at the Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. On day two of our awesome road trip. Come along as we learn about Alberta's dinosaur past. Hey MNTV family, it's Sarah here and welcome to day two of our epic adventure. Today we're exploring Royal Tyrell Museum an absolute gem located in the heart of Alberta's Badlands. Joseph Bertiro was a pioneering geologist and explorer whose work intertwined with Alberta's rich dino history in 1884 while on a mapping expedition for Geological Survey of Canada. Tyro made an astonishing discovery in the Badlands near Drumheller, a nearly complete skull of the dinosaur, later identified as an Albertosaurus. Groundbreaking find is the beginning of Alberta's reputation as a hotbed for dinosaur fossils. Tyrell's meticulous work and adventurous spirit not only advanced scientific understanding but also paved the way for future discoveries will last earning him the lasting place in Canadian scientific history. Right in the beautiful Drumheller Valley, this museum is a favorite destination for families and dino fans alike. Whether you're a seasoned expert or just a fan of Jurassic Park, the Royal Tyrell Museum offers something for everyone with its stunning exhibits and interactive displays. It's no wonder this place is buzzing with excitement year round. Tyrell Museum is not just a place to marvel in ancient fossils, it's also a hub of cutting edge scientific research and discovery. The museum's commitment to research ensures that each exhibit is continually updated with the latest scientific findings, making it an ever-evolving center of paleontology excellence. Visitors can even catch a glimpse of these ex experts at work. I'm gonna guess it's one of those. As you wander through the museum, you'll encounter over 40 dinosaur skeletons, including the fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rex and the massive Triceratops. The museum's collection is nothing short of spectacular, showcasing the incredible diversity of life that once roamed this region.
Go, sir. You're a crocodile. Chomp, chomp, chomp. You're a hyena. Ha, ha, ha. You both crocodiles. Dad, I'm you both, Dad. Don't weigh anything. You know, I don't think they had to put the giant part in there. So whether you're digging for fossils in the interactive displays or marveling in the life-size skeletons, the Royal Ty Tyrell Museum promises an unforgettable day and fun learning for the whole family. Night hit in Jasper, it was clear something was wrong. And you're just getting hit with ash in your face, on your arm, ash that was still on fire. Returning from a hike on a trip with his mom, dad and brother, Isaac Neustadt said their holiday took a sudden turn. Good old Alberta Great Canola. Just for the record, what you are seeing is not snow, but just desert, basically. Once upon a time, this was a lake, I think. Right? It was. It was. Pretty big room. <sighs> hey, hey, I'm in TV family. It is Mike here. Um, I don't usually do these mid things. I usually leave it to the kids, but today has been a day, a day. First of all, um, we left yesterday, we went up to Rosebud and we had a wonderful, beautiful stay at the uh, Banks and Bray bed and breakfast and I'm still really appreciative of, of them. Uh, they gave us a free night there which was just wonderful and we really do appreciate that. Um, we woke up in the morning though to news that there was an evacuation in Jasper, which is where we were going to be going in a couple of days on Thursday uh, to check out the Columbia Ice Fields. And of course our hotel was uh, up in Hinton, which is just an hour north of uh, Jasper as well. So of course we're like, uh oh, what's gonna happen? So we kind of went on with our day, right? I, uh, I did a, uh, I did an interview and a tour of the Banks and Bray, and uh, you guys will probably see that down in the description or up here or down there or left, right, or wherever we put these things nowadays, we will get a link to that. Um, it's a beautiful place, wonderful. But anyway, we went on with our day. We went to the uh, Drumheller Royal Terrell Museum. We had a great time there. By the time we were finishing up and we were rolling towards uh, Edmonton, I got a notification from the Glacier Ice Field people that our, there was the wildfires and that they were canceling um, our 
that they were canceling our reservation for doing the Columbia ice fields. Obviously disappointing, I really wanted to do that, but safety first, right? There's a wildfire in the area, it's an evolving situation, we don't know what's going to happen. So it was better that way, They're gonna ref they issued an automatic refund, so I don't have to worry about it. What I was worrying about was our hotel, because with Jasper under an evacuation notice, um, we would have no way of getting through Jasper up into Hinton. So I was trying to get a hold of them and it wasn't happening. I finally did uh, later this evening, only to find out that they've decided that because there is a road that can get you to Hinton, that they will not be, uh, they'll not be giving, they'll not be giving refunds. So we booked this through Expedia, so I've gone through Expedia and I'm very much hoping that uh, the hotel in Hinton does the right thing. You'll notice I haven't named them at this point in time, but um, to be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit, well, I'm pissed, right? I'm not happy about this because they could have easily done the right thing and taken a little bit of stress off this trip. Uh, thus far, they have chosen not to. Um, Expedia is working with me and I really do appreciate uh, the, the agents at uh, Expedia that have been helping me uh, through this. So I hope that they will do the right thing. If not, well, we'll go that route too. In the meanwhile, dealing with that, the car also broke down. Yes, I know, again, All right? Did it a couple of months back and it's done it again. Anyway, so the car's broken down. Yes, I know, again, I'm really upset about this. I really feel like, you know, this whole trip is basically crumbling to dust right in front of my eyes. And, you know, when you're a single dad, you don't have a lot of time and you really, really want to make something really great for your children. Uh, it hurts a lot when things just start not going well. So I'm hoping that the car will be a quick and easy and cheap fix. I am hoping that we will be able to rejig and do something else. I'm hoping that we'll get the refund for our, um, for our Jasper portion so that we can do something else. But I guess that's how road trips go. So um, obviously we'll keep you posted, but as of now, uh, we may have a big hole in our schedule starting tomorrow afternoon. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, I guess until next time, as much as you are able, keep exploring.